Welcome to episode number 57 of the Optic Podcast. Your usual hosts, Hitch, Niak, Money B, and Hex. Don't forget. I'm just going to stop there. Um, Hitch, Niak, where are we up? at? Where's the fly cast? And I'm only saying Why? that because there's flies. There's like, there's like, there's like a, 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 a million flies on the floor that, that Joe killed over the weekend. And what? they're gone. Why don't we have to start off with that? Yeah. Oh, we start with something positive. Sure. Okay, where is it? <laughs> uh, Mexico advanced. I don't know. Mexico, thank you. Yeah. Mexico advanced thanks to Korea. Thank you so much, Korea. Um, oh, we did it. You should really be out partying. Up, having fun. I don't know what's going on in the World, World Cup. Soccer. Well, soccer games. Soccer games? Yeah. Well, the United States didn't make soccer it. Soccer Olympics. <laughs> no, they didn't make it, so like, there's nothing for you to be. Yeah. Yeah. So well, just cheer like for Mexico. Ireland. Yeah, Ireland. They're not. Come on, boys. Cheer yeah. for Mexico, okay? Germany. Germany. Germany sent it. They, no, no. They just got knocked out by Korea. Korea beat them 2-0. And we lost to Sweden 3-0, which made that if the only way that we could advance is if Germany, returning world champs, would, would have beaten Korea. Korea. Korea is Amazing, by the way. Anyway, let's not let's not get into that. So now I root for Mexico. Yeah, yeah. Okay. you look like Canelo. That's what I was. See, si. 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 <laughs> si. Nick, would, would you uh, have you ever dated a, a a nice Mexican young lady? No, no, I have not. No. Have you dated a nice American young lady? No, I've only had a, like yeah, a, a one serious friend. relationship. His, yeah, same. Like one or two serious. <laughs> I was about to say. Have you? Yeah. Well. Uh, let's let's uh relationships. Yeah, you should ask like have let's, you dabbled in what well, <laughs> instead of saying have you dated yeah. it's like have you dabbled into the have realm you, of have you dipped into the gene pool of mexicans no too much i'd have to well wait why are you doing that just the way i said it yeah not that. i just know you have well you so you got to be clear on that yeah because oh, ew mexicans <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. What? No, he has. I'm trying to think. Oh, I think, yeah. I it's know like what you're talking the most about. obvious. Yeah. Wait. Las- lasagna? <laughs> cut. Nah. No, you can't cut that. It's, it's, it's food. But no. Spaghetti? Nah, not. <laughs> Betty spaghetti. You gotta cut that? That's okay. Italian. Cut that, <laughs> that one name because it's, let's do that, okay? Whoever edits this, cut what I said, or blur it out. Start from here. Anyway, so talking, talk, okay. let, let, let's start here, okay, obviously. So, Hitch, have you? Uh, what, da- did, how did you say it? Dab my foot in or something? No, no. no. Uh, Mexican, no, no. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I seriously can't remember, but Bose is telling me I have, but. Yeah. Yeah, well, the thing is, is that is that. Dude, are you serious? I, I just remembered like three, four up top for you. Oh my God, three or four. All right, let's let's move on from there because it, 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 we should. If people, men in <laughs> men in optic don't kiss and tell. Okay, that's that's the rule. And my mom watches these. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> have you ever brought a girl to meet your mom? Mm, my mom. What my mom hated about me is I n- never. It was always. We go in my house and up to the room and play some she, Halo. Yeah, just don't introduce anyone to her. No just, one. Uh, Not a single no. No one's been worth I mean, worthy. Besides, I mean, besides like an actual yeah, yeah. girlfriend, yeah. You can hear the mic. I'll talk to you out from in there. Yeah, all right. Wait. Both is going to go uh, get a, what about a paper th- towel. Oh, okay. Because it's what it is hot in here. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah, hot what here. are we going to do about this? This know. is a new atmosphere, it's like a new vibe. It is. All right, now, so now that we got all that positivity out of the way, where's the fly cast? Bro, I had to... As, 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 a, as an active listener and fan of the show, truly, like, where, don't do that. Have Bose do that for you. I, ew, <laughs> just, I, had to, uh, I had to give up on that, man. Yeah? Yeah. Because it was just, I, he was doing his thing, you know, hit a thousand Twitch, fall, or Twitch subs. Yeah. Streaming all the time and I would just be like fly cast and he'd be like uh, sleep for the first time in three days yeah. and that's that's kind of how it was going so and it's it is kind of like it's kind of frustrating like 
I know it's frustrating for him. It's hella yeah. frustrating for me for just like every time we turn on a stream, it's just like, dude, where's the fly cap? The, the thing, the thing there though too is that listeners like me, yeah. who use that as part of your entertainment, like on a certain you know day of the week, like I know that 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 when like every day I listen to the Adam Carolla show now because it, you know I, really? I found him. Yeah, oh he's, yeah, yeah, he's super super funny. Uh, and I used to listen to him Love Line long ago, and I don't listen to music, so I listen to podcasts. So when I don't have you guys to listen to in that hour, or it's actually through the span of like four hours that I listen to your your stuff, or anytime I'm in the car, like you guys, you know. Yeah. So what's up? Well, a lot of it is has to do with every single time we went, we we half of the equipment's at my place, half of the equipment's at his place. Uh huh. We would drive to the offices. Now we're in a new office. And then also your office is happening. So we yeah. don't really know where the flycast is going to be. And we want it to be like a permanent setup. So we just go in, shoot, and leave. Yeah. Because it hasn't been that way. It's been like we have a, a laptop, a, a soundboard, a, two mics. and, and Yeah, you have a good setup, too. Yeah. And, and you, it's like a good, bassy sound for the podcast. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's super good. So, I mean, super well. Like, all, all the equipment is really good for it. But we just want like a, an actual setup. That you could just show up, show at up midnight, shoot. sit down, yeah. shoot, and then just leave. Yeah, because well, that's what we're gonna have. It's actually like a super long process to like even set it up and shoot it, and then, yeah, you know. Do well, it all so, I mean, I mean, I, I can say the flycast, the the lack of episodes lately, it's my fault. If I wanted to make it happen, it would happen 100 <laughs> percent. But like, I don't know. Honestly, since starting streaming so much it's just like yeah anytime i'm not streaming it's a, it's like i don't want to you're like recovering for your next stream <laughs> almost yeah, yeah. yeah and it's like i don't know I've well just, how many times a week do you stream uh it'll be like it varies it could be like four to six i try to make it like that four to six days a week yeah but those hours could be like super long hours um, well, it sucks because you, you're actually good at Fortnite. You know what I'm saying? And, and when that, uh, and then when that, when that happens, like you just want to stay on and stay on and stay on. And it's such an uh, addictive game, dude. To- I streamed for so long the other day, and my one goal was uh, I play solo squads, and that's just me going against squads by myself. Um, I don't know how newbie you guys are. But anyways, I was playing solo squads for like 12 hours straight, <laughs> just trying to get a like a 20 plus kill win. Yeah. And it was, uh, I just couldn't get it. And it was just super frustrating. And I, I would have got off 12 hours ago if I got it. Yeah. But I couldn't, but I was so not you, getting so you off play, until well, I got it. Well, what happens if you get that first win and like within the first hour, do you get off? Or do you just go for the second one and well, then the third? No, I'll start my stream like, you know, talking to the chat and I might do duos or squads, something. But by the time it gets like, I guess maybe time for me to turn it off. It's like, all right, I'm gonna try to get a 20, a 20 bomb and yeah. solo squads real quick, <laughs> yeah, and I can't I get it, and it's just the most frustrating thing I, ever. I, I think, I think streamers have it the worst, man. It's like it's such a tough thing to do to be, to be, you know, to fire up the stream and then be so like. People don't realize how exhausting yeah. it is. I, well, you can't say that though because you go 24 to 30. Two hour like binges. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's exhausting. <laughs> but even even when I'm doing even you but, do push it to the limit. But like as of lately, that hasn't been the case like as much. But it's still just like exhausting. Almost, I wouldn't say acting, but mm-hmm. just like being a an entertainer. Yeah, an entertainer. It's just like so exhausting. Like by the time you get off the off of that, it's like you don't want to like, go. Home. You don't want to like go be an entertainer somewhere else. Yeah, you know what's crazy about that is I always think about the fact that uh, it would be so cool if it was acceptable as a streamer to only be interactive with the chat like in between matches, right? So you can put on your, your full on concentration on this. I mean, the people who oh. don't stream with webcams have it the easiest because they just really could cool it. Like, uh, I mean, but like, they don't got to like do fa- funny facial expressions. They're just like, uh, yeah. <laughs> like, I feel like a lot of those people are just like super good yeah, so people amazing. just watch They're for just their like skill yeah. yeah me and Nameless were talking about that the other day it's just like you're either really good and people watch you or you're just an entertainer yeah. and people watch you yeah 
That's I don't know. I, the, the one week, I, I streamed for three weeks straight one time. And it, it is rookie, bro. Jesus. How long have we been doing podcasts for? Anyway, the, the one week, well, the one three weeks, the one span of time in which I did like three weeks every single day, including Saturday and Sunday, like I saw my, not only my subs go up to, I think I, I, I tapped out at 675. But it, but I also like saw like the same people coming back and coming back and popping back. Oh, I I see the same people on my stream. Yeah, all the, I'm, I'm almost like sad if they're not. I'm yeah. like, <laughs> did, am I doing something wrong? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, wait, where's Kevy Skills? Is that a bot? Is that Kevy Skills bot or is that really Kevin? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? It's like, where's Tabasco? Is that Tabasco? Uh, yeah. The, I mean, as as soon as I hit start stream, like, like there's at least five of like the regular people that are always in the chat, just there within the first 10 minutes. And you're just like, all right, cool. Keeping shit in order. Yeah. You know what I have noticed for the old men of Optic, and this is like super cool, is that our, like some of my mods, Tabasco for example, is like, it's, it's like, it's like a grown man. You yeah. know, like uh, Rebelgate, a grown man. And, and to me though, it's like one, one of the coolest things that I saw because I'm like, if there's people my age, and there is obviously that play this, I'm like, why don't I start a senior league? You know, Call of Duty Senior League. Can you throw a, a Senior Citizen Tournament? Senior oh. Citizen Tournament? Yes, you should, bro. Tell me that uh, would be fire. <laughs> that would be funny. For Fortnite? No, get sure. Like, get, For like, anything. Pocket. No, Pocket's not old enough. It's, it's got to be 30 plus. How old's Pocket? Pocket? He's got to be 30. 29, 27, 28? 30. Nah. Yeah, he's not I in his like 30s. He's... Maybe you just hit 30. Mm -hmm. I feel like, yeah, he has. I feel like he just hit 30. Well, because he's like your age, right? Well, think about it. I he was like Puckett. always a little above me, so that's why I'm saying like he's. <laughs> I knew Pucky when I was like 15. I met him. Damn. So. I, was I don't know, but I think you should. There's he's a market for that 100. percent That, 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 that <laughs> like a senior Imagine citizen. He's not. <laughs> I mean, obviously, we're not senior citizen because we're not senior citizens, but maybe like a senior league. I don't know. What would you but call how that? How many of them are like? I don't know. How many of y'all exist? <laughs> Me, not much. many. Keem, Keem starts old there. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think Keem's like 25. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I think I think there definitely is a, a an opportunity there to do like 30 plus like league, and uh, and I think you're the guy to run like that. Team owners or something or no? Should, because how Hastro, about like Hastro, for example, he's he's old and he was a pro, like he was good. So I think like he would have like a, a Skyler. Wouldn't he like, like everybody in Envy the, from the original fucking? How about twenty five and over? No, 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 twenty five. Cause Seth's about to be twenty five in three in like three years, I think. Oh, uh, I thought he. Was well, it's good. not that big of a gap, is what I'm saying. Like, and if if I think there, there's an opportunity there to to do that. Modern Warfare Three just came out. You've been playing just that. Just came out. Yeah, I was playing it with. Just Hitch. Re got re released backwards compatible. Three yeah. Days I was playing with Hitch. Yeah. Um, How'd you do? I was doing all right. Yeah? yeah. You killed it? Yeah. yeah Bo's hop. It's stressful on Xbox One. Oh, it is. Yeah. Why? You you lag? You can't see. Oh. <laughs> it's like a different game. Yeah. It's like whenever Modern Warfare 3 came out, or, you know, that, the whole series, like, you know, from COD 4 on, we are just like, damn, the graphics are so, it's like the best graphics ever. It's yeah, like no. And now, and now you, you go there. back and it's just like, I can't see shit. Yeah, like yeah. Everything's blurry. Oh my God. Like, uh, how did we do it? Well, I don't know. It's just, uh, your eyes playing tricks on you. Every me. game, I went back and played H1, H1Z1, yeah. and it felt like garbage. I saw your tweet. I was like, this shit feels so like yeah. clunky and I, just not smooth. I was like super excited for months to, for uh, Z1 to come out. And then I downloaded Z1, the test server, the night before. And I went in, I clicked on it uh, the day that it was supposed to go live. And, uh, you know, solos weren't up yet. So I just, the only thing that was up was the combat training area. So I, I clicked that, went into combat training. And I think the entire pro league was in the co combat training because they were all sitting there waiting for Z1 to go out. So I, I died by three people named T Hump. Three, like, I don't think any of them were T Hump. But they were all like T Hump wannabes or like T Hump fanboys. So they were like, pop pow. Like two, I got two tapped at least, like the first three times I spawned in. And then I was like, I'm not playing this shit. Like, <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna wait for Z1 to come out just to spawn in nine times and get two tapped by people. Doesn't it, does it come out today? Z1? Yeah. I thought it was already out. What's, it? What's, I don't know. what's Z1? 
Uh, Z1 was the original H1 yeah. map. <coughs> H1Z1. Doesn't Fortnite and then, come out with that update today, that building stuff? Yeah, it already came out. Wait, what? What building stuff? But they shut it down because apparently it was messing stuff up. But Wait, I explain. got to play for like an hour. Give, give us a rundown. It's like a, it's called playground mode oh. on Fortnite where... You can build? Um, yeah, it's regular... Well, you go in, you, you can search with a party of four or you can uh, choose to fill. And I guess you'll find random team, teammates. But it's just you four on the entire map. And then you can land wherever you want. It's the same exact map, but uh, like trees and all that stuff. Like you'll get 300 wood, but just hitting a tree. Okay. So you'll just get a bunch of maps. So it's like a creative? It, wow. Yeah, just like, pretty much. And, and to like practice mats and stuff like that. Really? Yeah. I think like we dope. were sitting there saying like three, two, one, go. And then we'd have a build fight. Yeah. Like that's how nerdy. See, that, that's what we should be doing for optic play. So that's, yeah. Yeah. you know, fun stuff like that. I yeah. think... Uh, I, I think that the second that they add creative mode to to Fortnite, I think that that's when it really takes off. Because one of the main main things that they made uh, you know Minecraft that that good of a game was the fact that you can like build stuff and you had people building like like creepers. You had people building like you know a whole bunch of stuff uh, that, that that was really good. At one point, there was this one server. I don't even know. I don't even remember the names. Um, anyway, it doesn't matter. But Somebody would say, draw, uh, so three art, four, four to five artists would get into, into a, a, a competition where they had 30 seconds to build, uh, let's say, a duck, right? The, the, the random generator would say duck. And then you have your mats. Wait, like, what is this um, on? Minecraft? Minecraft, yeah. You have like unlimited mats, right, to materials to, to build whatever. And then people would judge to see who built a better duck <laughs> with the thing. And, and then people would like that. So uh, I think the creativity goes like a super, super long way in a, in a video game. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I th- it's going to get nuts I, for Fortnite. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it is for sure. But I, I, I genuinely think Dude. that Fortnite has, has, I think it's past its peak. Really? Yeah, for sure. Actually, I I'm, do too. I'm like 100% like well, yeah, convinced. Kinda, actually, I kind of feel the same way. Because that. The, the wave is already, like, it, it, it's kind of like when Minecraft first kicked off and you were like, holy crap, every single kid I know plays mm-hmm. Minecraft. Yeah. And that's how Fortnite was. And then, you know, in Minecraft is still, obviously, there's so right. much that you can do there, so much industry. You can, yeah. you know, a lot of content creators are still just grinding uh, yeah. Minecraft, which is how Fortnite will be forever. But as far as this like insane like Pokemon Go t- style boom, yeah, like it, it's happened and it was crazy to witness. But I, I think it's over now, because you, Do you know, think that, that you think that way because you're so close to like the industry, like possibly, the, yeah, yeah. Because you're not like a casual gamer, you know, you're not yeah. a, you're not a kid that, you know, <coughs> two million downloads the second that they or the day that they announced the Switch, yeah, like that's that's nuts. Maybe, well, I mean, yeah, if the Switch had come out. While the boom had happened, yeah. it would have been in, it would have been insane. Yeah, and then it, of course with. <laughs> Just, you guys can't hear that, but there's like somebody moving trash cans outside, and Embo's got, got worried. <laughs> I, I don't I don't know, man. I, I think I think it's still there. The, the I, I don't know where it's gonna go from a competitive standpoint, especially when there's a hundred million dollars on the line. Yeah. So I don't think it's done in that regard. But I do oh, think it's definitely that not done. It will, it will, I don't think it'll ever, ever be done. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Well, but I, I, I do mirror some of your, your sentiment when it comes to like its peak, because oh. you, you get to, you get to a point to where you're like, as a, as a, as a semi casual gamer, which I am, I don't hop on every single time. Like the build battles is, is, is the only thing that kills me, and when that's ninety percent of the of, of yeah, it's it's super hard for me to like continue to want to play. Yeah. Um, but the thing the thing there is I, I've always. You know, I gave up on Fortnite, uh, especially on PC, just because I did not want to like sit there and learn. I mean, you see how much he plays. I don't want to play that much, just to learn how to be, you know, a top one percent player. Yeah. And uh, it's, I mean, I, I I like watching. Yeah. And and I like watching other people play. I think it's super entertaining. Yeah. Um, but as far as me playing, I don't I don't have the you know the drive to do that. Yeah. But. I don't think they should change Fortnite. I think no. I think that Fortnite just should stay the exact same, yep. but maybe add a ranking system so that you know 
people like casual people that just want to come in and play don't have to spawn in maybe get one kill off of just a regular yeah and then and then (laughs) you know people are just building up to the top just for one kill it's just exhausting um but i mean but i don't what i don't think they should do is what they said they're going to do which is make it you know cater or like make try to force the skill gap you know closer together yeah like make it easier and make it you know push the push the skill ceiling down uh yeah. which apparently i don't even know how i don't apparently i don't know like, how they'd even do that apparently they're like I, I i don't know i haven't read anything but apparently they're like uh making materials smaller or something like that or or they like, they said that in the future they, they would like to make it, to it where like when you put a wall in front of you you gotta wait till it builds and then you build another piece or something to where it's it's, it's, too it's not instant it's too dumb. Like. Yeah, but I mean, they have three different mats. They have wood, uh, but I think, <laughs> but I think, like when casuals watch Ninja Myth, all those people, like that's the stuff they're but, like, but oh still, my god, like, this even is... you see them spam build, they spam build too. Like, yeah, no, freak but freak out it's... and just build shit that they're not like. Yeah. I, I was watching Myth literally build. He was going straight up normal. He like tweaked out, build out to the side, got shot, and fell all the way to his death. I'm like, why, yeah. why did he just tweak out right there? Like, yeah. Like, because well, uh, I they think every, everyone everyone does, does it does because it. it's yeah, like it's yeah, so many to. buttons pressed, Bro, so yeah. much. I the amount good. of inputs per second for a build fight, uh, I can't even. It's got to be like StarCraft level. Like I couldn't do it. Like just thinking, even on like, cause you're using here, you're using how many buttons on your mouse, and then this like uh, you're pressing everything. Yeah, uh, you have I to. I, I would have to put. I would scroll wheel. Yeah, just kidding. The scroll wheel. One, two, three, like, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Like twenty-two buttons. That's just to play a fucking. That is insane. Like seriously, that is, I guess, yeah, that, that, that's that's a that's a bit of a problem. But then you have that 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 thirteen year old from Optic Arena, that was just like insane. Yeah. What what the wildest was he thing? Insane. Or did for he just win the match? For his age, no, he was good. insane. Okay. No, he was insane. Period. Anybody that can they can edit. Okay, that's yeah. It's it's insane to me. <laughs> well, I didn't see how he won. So no, he, he didn't was, win. He was playing really well. No, he didn't win though. Uh, yeah, he didn't win. No, but he was like but he up was nasty. there. Yeah, he was yeah. nasty, dude. Yeah. Like, uh, I, to me, like the editing stuff is like you know window or peaking and, and how fast. Like, anytime I watch Nick A play or Nikki play, what's his name? Nick okay, A. Yeah. Bro, I it's, give up. It's unbelievable. It, it makes me not it, want to. Yeah, like you would think it would kind of inspire you to like nah, get that. It, it, it does <laughs> the opposite. It's crazy because like does. you'll watch, I'll watch like. That's how I feel when I watch there's Tifu. So, there's so many levels. Yeah, yeah, like, that's how I feel too. Because I'll, doing some fucking I'll watch like Jack like play and I'm just, I'm just like, damn, like why do Jack's, I, I would Jack's like the shit he does is cool. Like yeah. uh, he knows how to like st- have good ass style points. Yeah. Like, but then you like you think of the skill gap between like Jack and like Myth and Ninja, and then you think of the skill gap between them and like Tifu and Nick A, and it's just like I don't even want. And the to thing play. is, people now are looking at Myth like he's not even that good. Yeah, which really? is insane. Yeah, like there's like a That's skill a like part. people is it are really? people, people are, are starting yeah. to like people are looking at Baldy like he's better than Myth, and, yeah. and and you know Baldy's like a people are think Baldy's like a top five player. Myth's the best, but period. No. No, <laughs> not. Tifu's the best. I like, what's his name? Yeah, yeah Tifu's is ridiculous. Hamlin's is, yeah. yeah. I mean, Tifu, all Tifu, Hamlin's, and, you know, Nick A. Is oh, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's, yeah. it's, watching, it the, watching them play is still insanely entertaining. I love watching them play. Really? But just playing, it, it doesn't. Dude, imagine somebody having that much control of their... It reminds me of the, the old Pistola. Like, nobody had that sort of control on, on his character in Halo, the way the Pistola Bro, did. Bro, I literally saw... Uh, Drama's dash yesterday. Who? How did he do it? Huh? He dashed, bro. Who did? Drama's. He was. We were coming out of a divot or whatever, and he had one of those rocks. Dude, literally hit the ground and dashed like shh, slid to the left. I don't know I what like, that is. I was like, yo, how did you just dash like Cod? He was laughing like he don't want to tell me. Nah, like, bro, bro, he dashed. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> he dashed. Bro. He probably just had no idea what you were talking about. Nah. 
Bro, so with he, he probably put what, that that bouncy pad yeah, on the side. Yeah, I was say, so what those bounce what those bounce pads like created an entire new meta. Yeah, which is even crazier. Like just build, build, build. You know, wall bounce, bounce it off another wall. I'm, I'm just I sitting here trying were, to like mentally keep up. Hmm? I thought they were whack at first. Yeah, no, nah, they're they're nah, good. Like they're good for like building fights yeah. too. Yeah, because they needed a way. Because it got to a point where, like, Fortnite's so smart. Like, Epic is so smart. Another Fortnite podcast. Yeah, true. Well, we haven't talked matter. about yeah, it in yeah, a while. Yeah, go on, go on. So, like, it got to a point where people were building these in insane, you know, structures just for a 1v1. Yeah. And so the people would just drop down and see for the bottom, and they would fall to their death. And so... Get outplayed. The only, the only way that you could get out of that is if you had a launch pad. And launch pads are insanely rare. So then they made something else that you know, Great made it so that you didn't have any, you know, fall damage. So then if you see the base getting destroyed, you put down a bounce pad and then yeah. you can survive it. It's like... I don't know if I like it or not. The the bouncy pads? Yeah, because it, it, it does save you from... I've seen somebody run away from a fight. Down. I don't know who it was, but they were running away from a fight using like 10 bouncy pads. So like somebody was coming after them, they would lay one and then go backwards build up lane one uh, and then go backwards and then he yeah. went on the attack it was insane like i love i literally love that game and like more than anything like i enjoy watching like the like the co-ed tournament that you threw the friday keemstar's friday fortnite are like my yeah. friday entertainment yeah and i, I think it's to the, like top four top six that's when it gets to there, there will never be a and and we'll end it here like still to this day like my one of my favorite you know moments in competition history was that ninja uh, thing where where uh, twenty five kills. Yeah, I still have I still didn't no. even see that. It's What's unbelievable. His name? No, dude. No. What's the guy that streams with no cam? He, no, he's the best Fortnite Ham? player. Oh, high, high distortion? distortion. Yes, bro. He is ridiculous. No, you gotta yeah. watch this ninja game though, because <laughs> because what was at stake, and then King Richard dying, yeah. and what was at stake, and he had an LMG. Dude, ninja's fucking life in the past year is just a movie. Yeah, that literally. is so true. Like, because you we're every, still everything. Yeah. We're like, still at the point where it's under. It hasn't even been a year for Fortnite. So Ninja Ninja blew up three months into Fortnite. So it's only probably been what six months. Yeah, and he's the biggest internet celebrity in the world. Dude, thinking about the skill gap, I'm sure this is well. Actually, I don't know about CODs because you guys have a new game every year. Like, say. If, like Halo 3 on its first year compa compared to its third year, yeah. how much better players yeah. were by the end. Like, oh. that's like Fortnite and. No, Fortnite's gonna get to two, the point. three years. Dude, Fortnite, I. I like, as soon as, soon as I how, saw. Like, that's how I'd feel when I'd watch like StarCraft. StarCraft 2, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, what, that's what I like was like thinking about. As soon as I, as soon as I saw, like, um, uh, who is it? Who is the guy that uh, Nick Merckx put? Uh, Cypher? As soon as I saw him, like, editing for the first time, I was like, oh, my God. Like, Fortnite is going to get to the point where Smash got to, where, you know, we you watch old school Smash tournaments, and I'm like, and it, they were the biggest tournaments in the world, and I'm like, I could beat those guys. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Because I'm watching tournaments from 2003, and I'm thinking how I know how to play Smash. Now yeah. I could beat those guys. But now you watch them, and they're putting... With a GameCube controller, they're putting as many inputs in as, a, as Fortnite, which is unbelievable. It, it doesn't make any sense, but they're doing it. And if Fortnite gets to that point, I don't even want to know what's going on. The, the, it's going to be like 2v2, a 2v2 build fight in Fortnite four years from now. If you've got to see it today, it would even blow your mind. I can't even imagine. I mean, it blows my mind now, to dude. Yeah. Because no, when, when I first when I first started watching when I first started house. watching you know Fortnite, I just stressed him out. Yeah. <laughs> I just like can't decide if like <laughs> I just like want to be the best, but like these kids are freaks. Yeah, they're. Freaks. That's what. That's what. I mean, and that's why crazy. I said Fortnite has hit its peak is because there's so many people that see that and there's. A lot of people that are like, I'm gonna get that good, and then there's a lot of people that are like, Fuck that. but but dude, there's like, but then there's nights like a couple nights ago, it's probably like four nights ago I was playing the best 
Fortnite I've ever like yeah. it was insane how good I was playing. Yeah. And was I I don't even know if I was streaming because it was one of my like six AM, nine AM like runs. Yeah. But I was playing so good. I was and I just felt like the man. Like I felt like I was like I think I might be good enough to go pro. Like I'm as good yeah. as everyone else. But then like next day I sign on, and it's just like man I feel. I'm not <laughs> just not comfortable. Like God, man, my shoulders. And I'm just playing av like not average, but like not like yeah. uh, not in the zone. Yeah. And it's yeah. just like how do how are these players in the zone like just dominating every. Yeah. Every game. You know, like we, High Distortion doesn't have a bad stream. He doesn't have a stream where he's like, damn, we're not playing too good today. Like, he is yo, always yo, shitting yo, on everyone. He's everywhere. nasty, right? Yo, something. I've never yeah. watched any of his streams. Yo, what do you do in that squad or his teammate died and they needed, like, how many kills? Oh, on Friday Fortnite? Yeah. yeah he, had, he, he ended the game with, like, 27. Yeah. yeah it's unbelievable. Yo, this, <laughs> like, everyone in TSM is disgusting. Well, you know, what I, what, I was, what I was going with that, you know, talking about Ninja and, like, how he blew up in the last, like, less than a year. Like, I was, I was talking to Jack that there's this, like, this very very small moment in time in a, in, a, in a content creator's, like, career where they're, like, about to take off. That you see, like not only not only their their career like blow up, but also their mentality like changes a little bit because they see they 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 they've reached this level, and, and I've gone through it. I, I went through it with, with I mean most of everyone in Optic, yeah. right? Uh, but there's this like one, and, and that's what I like almost live for because it's so distinct. This very very like, when you see it in the first hand and when you see it happen, like this very small gap between you know making making ends meet, doing something that you love, and then getting to that very, very comfortable place where, you, where you're one of them, you know, one of the, one of the very few. And, and, and as a YouTuber and content creator, off of YouTube and content creation, I never got to that place where I was like, I'm like, holy shit, I can make a super good living off of this. So, so you know, seeing Nate go through it, you know, going from, from who he was, and then, you know, Black Ops to Nade, and then, and, then, and then the rest, and then same with Scumpy, you know, seeing, um, what, did Modern Warfare 3, what came after Black Ops 2? Um, Ghost. Ghost. Ghost, yeah. Ghost. Ghost, okay, so it was actually, what was it? When did Scumpy like super, super blow up? It was also Black Ops 2, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 2, 2 right? Yeah. Anyway, like seeing that firsthand was like, it, 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 it's like one of the most magical things that I've ever experienced yeah. in my life. So I can only imagine what it's like, because I've seen people grind, 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 but I've never seen somebody grind the way that Ninja grinded and then within a span of six months, just be oh, yeah. the, the it, yeah. you know? And that, like, not, not I mean, only Nate, Nate kind of did that. Yeah. Uh, no, who, who was it that tweeted? They said, you remind me, uh, or it's, it's crazy that oh, what Ninja's okay. I think doing. It was, I think it was Keem, he tweeted something Keem. like. Yeah. Oh, he said every, it's like, it was every like game a. Game has their, every game yeah. has their person. He was like, it's so cool shot. to see Ninja yeah. Yeah. do what Hutch and Nate shot did. Yeah. And I was like, that's a, you know. It is. A, it is, Fair and, and, and not only that, but but because of Ninja and what he's creating, like everybody else is benefiting from that. Like yeah. he created this, like his own little ecosystem, and that that people like Jack, okay, perfect example. Jack can can get to the level of success that he's gotten to in the same, almost in the same amount of time, if you think about yeah. it. Less, right? Less, less. way less. Way less. So, yeah. so well, I mean, he, it's gonna be way less with. Ninja leading the fucking yeah. pack. Yeah. Well, th well, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, it, it wasn't. It wasn't until you know, Syndicate. You know, did what he did in, in Minecraft. That all of a sudden you had the the the, the Dan TDMs and the T TDM, the T the Diamond. Yeah, the TDM, Dan TDMs, the the you know Sparkles and like everybody else that like brew, the Prestons. Preston has been around for so long. Typical gamer has been around for so long. I used to watch Preston uh, play COD, MW2. Yeah. There so many people that came from COD and Halo. Yeah. It's crazy. You know, High Distortion came from Gears. Gears. Oh, yeah. I High Distortion, Halo. I played, I played Gears with him in like 06. Yeah. High, dis well, high Distortion. Right. Uh, high Distortion. With each other and Camille's. 18. Yeah, not Hamlet's. Yeah. High Distortion, Camille's, uh, CD in the Third, and Nick Merckx all came from Gears. From Gears, yeah. And then you have. It is. It's like, yeah, Loki, I can feel the gears movement in the character. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why I, 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 asked, uh, I asked Nick Merckx on a stream one time. Was, this is when all the Modern for Two hype was happening. And I think Fortnite had started blowing up, but it wasn't like insane. Yeah. 
I was like, yo, when uh, Mono for Two comes out, are you and your you and your guys gonna start playing these uh, Mono for Two tournaments? And he was like, I don't know what they're gonna do. Like talking about his MPAM buddies. He was like, but I've been waiting for a third person shooter for like five years. He was and like, that's I that's, finally got one. But it doesn't feel like a third person shooter though. Yeah. Does it feel like a third person well, shooter at the, to you? At the time when he said this was like four months ago. So at the time, three months ago or something. It was. It hadn't gotten to like the point it was, especially on console. Yeah. On console, you could just drop in, and it was gunfights. Yeah. You did, it was like very like maybe a, a ramp, maybe like a, a yeah. one by one. But now, these console players are getting to the point where they can hang with, you know, the the average PC players. Yeah. Because they now can they now have button maps on their controllers where, you know, they can build, in insanely fast as well and edit. It's. Bro. If you figure out Builder Pro, it'll probably take two days if you just grind oh, yeah. it. I forgot who I was playing with. They were telling me about that. What do you just hold down? Yeah, you just you press a button. You press one button, and then the rest of your controller is just mapped to building. Oh, so you God. press the button, and, and you're just moving around building the same way you would on PC. Yeah. It's insane. Especially it's, now with, that, with the new controller from Scuff. Yeah makes it easier whenever that comes out dude i can't wait to get those i played i played one game with it and i was just like at first i'm like man it feels so weird like how <clears throat> it kind of it's going to get in the way but the second that you get in game and you stop thinking about about it what yeah. you have here it's like second nature and then you're just like that go, go, dude, that controller it. can blow up especially because you know how like they make this scuffs with the four paddles and i don't know really anyone that uses the four paddles now you have the two paddles that everyone uses and the two buttons that will replace the other two paddles. So you literally don't ever have to take your hands off of the sticks. Yeah. Never. It's going to be wild. I wonder if they're, I was thinking, I was like, I wonder if they're going to ban it for, for COD, but with Scuff being such a big sponsor of Call of Duty events, I doubt. Why could, why would they? I don't, I, I don't know. That's, that's what I was saying. Because it, it's the, it's the first time since the paddles came out yeah. where like another evolution moder- of it. Yeah. you know, um, another moderation of, of a controller has come out. So, but, but I, I mean, I don't think they will, but especially like in Black Ops 4, there's a whole new mechanic of healing. That too, yeah. So if, if you are playing, so you have your stun, your fire, and your healing button yeah. all right there. Yeah. So you could, you know, you could throw a nade, shoot somebody and heal all, you know, Swap, with one, one move. with one finger, yeah, and and so it's it's gonna be. I think that's that's, crazy. that's something that's gonna. Uh... I think so too because there was this very very distinct change in gameplay the second that the the that the, the, the scuff came, came out. out. What? There was a huge scope. Oh, there. bro, they changed. Well, right. Yeah. So Merc Merc was like the the the, the, the biggest critic of, of that. Scuffs, yeah. Yeah, and he would say, you know, scuffs have sa- have saved a lot of pros' careers. Or have made pros better, pros that wouldn't it's necessarily. It's one hundred percent accurate. Yeah, one thousand percent. You don't understand how actual, like it made people. <laughs> it like, made people when so people much had better. It, like when John it had made it me in MW3 so much better. And no one else had it, and John had it. You know how fucking hard it was to kill him. Yeah. He could jump and lay down mid air before you even like. Yeah. He like he was clicking two buttons at the same time. Yeah, like, dude, the fact that Moho used to Moho jump. Oh, we were talking about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. The fact Yo, that he used to Moho jump before scuffs. scuffs came out is nuts. I, well, I can't even not. understand. It's it. just a, a simple like. No, it is not. Wow. Jump A. Jump I'm pretty a. sure he had no to have clawed, like right? Him. Go watch his videos. Seriously. I can't even do yeah. it like he did it with a scuff. It's nuts. His, his shit is crazy. He, I mean, he wow. would go neg like. 30 but he would he would cap he four flags flag yeah <laughs> it, it was crazy dude i'm oh man i miss good cod i miss good call of duty too Same. whenever we were playing modern for three last how good did it, and it was you couldn't see shit and it was still like yeah. awesome there was nothing yeah. better than seeing your bullets go where they're supposed That's to what, go i'm i'm excited i'm excited for the next two call of duties I, I was excited for world war ii i'm not gonna say i wasn't but i'm more excited for the next two call of duties than i have been in like five years why because this next call of duty i've already played it it's boots on the ground it's, it's going to be different than what i've always played but i'm still going to grind it yeah uh, because it's the first time i've ever like gone into a call of duty being just a content creator so yeah. i'm just going to grind the hell out of it yeah and then the next call of duty is the first time infinity ward has made a call of duty with the same staff that they had in during the, the real modern infinity War, War. modern warfare 2 yeah so 
apparently it's going to be Modern Warfare 4. Why are you laughing? That's going to be crazy. People from Respawn. I just heard Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, so people from Respawn, if you guys don't know, uh, when Infinity War broke up, Vincent Pella took a whole bunch of, of his people, and this is obviously like a high level, just simplifying it. Uh, he took a whole bunch of people and started Respawn Entertainment. Respawn Entertainment created a game called Titanfall. Titanfall. And now that the contracts are up, they're back at Infinity Ward to make the next, to make Modern Warfare 2 remastered. <laughs> Someone got a chub. <laughs> and it wasn't me. Bro, that bro, shit. Bro, that Wait, so. God would be bad. What, what God, is? Well, yo, bro, it would be bad. That's what I'm saying. Like, I think in. July, like it was supposed to happen this year. I think yeah. in July next year, Modern War- or Modern Warfare Two Remastered might come out, but this time around it'll have multiplayer because apparently it was supposed to come out, but then they like heard the backlash of everybody saying like the leak that uh, it was only going to be campaign. Yeah, and then just the, the the amount of people that just destroyed. Well, it should never just be campaign. Exactly. Nobody cares. Yeah. Okay, exactly. obviously if you look at what's happening right now with Black Ops 4, should tell you that only 9% yeah. of the people that buy this even touch the campaign. Yeah. And I bet you that those numbers are flawed because I have, in the past, accidentally gone into the <laughs> into the story mode and well, immediately it, back out. It's something like, it was like 20% Yo. play the campaign and only like 3% <laughs> completed it. finish it. Yeah. Yeah. So is it not like Halo where people actually play the campaign? No, it's not no, like no Halo. One. I think like all the I Halo really pros, go, will, go, they'll yeah. play it once. Multiplayer, play online. I don't even. Uh, yeah, I've look at never game. looked at a Call uh, of bro, Duty. Last, campaign. last, I remember the name because that was the last time I played a a Call of Duty story mode. It was called Crossing the Rhine. It was Call of Duty Two, and wait, that's where. Wait, that's, you never played the COD Four campaign? No. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. There's no way you did. I, I swear I, to God. You never played Gilly in the Mist? No, oh, I have. I have. No, my brother did. I didn't. That's the best, dude. Wait. That's the best. Sniping thing. That's what my brother says. I just no, don't believe it. The best sniping experience wow. that you can have is in game Call of Duty Four. Period. I bet you people would watch you play the if you played Mon- the Modern Warfare Remastered campaign. I bet you people would watch you play it just because there's so much of your brand is around that game. Yeah. That, and you've I've never, never played, played, it. played it. I bet you people would watch. I you would play get it. bored, bro. There's no way that I'm gonna have fun against I a computer, dude. Dude, you would like yeah, it. That's the way I look right? at it too. Like I want to beat another human being. Yeah, so like yeah, the, the, yeah, playing so. chess, playing chess on the computer the way that that that. Well, I guess he doesn't. But playing chess against the computer is the most boring shit ever. Yeah. yeah. But when you play another person, like you can literally. Oh, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I get what you're saying for sure. Personally, as a person. I don't know. But so what are people? You guys are playing MW3. Yeah, yeah. So MW3, uh, I guess that's how we got on this topic. Uh, it came out this week that. I'm just trying to decide if. I want to play it. You played it last week. Well, I, don't I think, mean, I don't. I mean, I think it's already no, on its it's decline. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I, and I knew it was going to be that way. Like, as soon as it comes out, people. Are, it's the same thing that happened with, you know, it happened what five times. Like, with it happened with Black Ops One. It happened with. Uh, well, wait. Not why Ghost. are people playing it again? Just because it, it went it backwards, backwards compatible. compatible. Oh, okay. So as soon as it goes backwards compatible, yeah. then GB opens up their ladders again, okay. and then there's tournaments that are being thrown. So that's what people were playing. Days. Are those uh, the, the problem there though? Is that is that it, this is the problem? And it would have had a, a bigger success if it would have been backwards compatible on the PlayStation Four or whatever the yeah, PlayStation, because every Call of Duty, the majority of the Call of Duty player community and esports community is on PlayStation right now, yeah. and the fact that. Have they announced who the partner is for next for for Black Ops Four? PlayStation. PlayStation. Okay, one hundred percent. Damn. That's what what happened to Xbox? K- kudos to Activision, bro. Kudos to Activision in the fact that they didn't go back as because it was a cyclical thing. Three years here, three years there, three years here. I'm glad that they didn't go back with how shitty Xbox has been. Hopefully, this new th- like, dude, the console is actually not that bad. I'm trying I, to like, think of an Xbox game I played besides Halo. Well, Halo Five. Like, what other Xbox One game? Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> is that the console's not that bad. Like, going, like, because the, 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 the backwards compatible thing is, or the Modern Warfare 3 is the first time I've turned on my Xbox One since him and I did a Halo 5 commentary gameplay thing for his channel in 2000, what, what was that? 14, 6, 5, a long time ago. Yeah, I don't know. 
And uh, so I, I, you know, turned it on and do backwards compatible. And uh, and I'm, I'm I'm messing around on the console. I'm like the console is actually pretty clean. Like the the menus and everything. Is it really? I, yeah. I thought the menus were always super like confusing. Well, well I haven't yeah. used like the the menus for friends list because it's like the Xbox 360 emulator. Yeah. So you just use it. I okay. and I lived on the Xbox 360. So yeah, same. So it's super like easy that way. But as far as like going through everything and you can see like the entertainment, the games and everything, like it's actually pretty clean. But there's just no games to play. I mean, I, I, I actually went to browse games, and like the top games are like PUBG. Why don't people just start playing Ghosts or something? I, I, I will say this. If, if there was a Modern Warfare remaster remastered, <laughs> I would be the happiest dude alive. Because that was like, <laughs> it, 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 was, it was incredible to me to, I be, love that game. to be able to go back and play the game that like I literally fell in love with. And have that be the main game for like seven months was like awesome. It was a, it was a, it was a good point in my life. So if I can get half of that experience with a Modern Warfare 2 remastered, by all means, let's get it. Please, I would support it 100%. Even though that game would be lit. Bro. Yeah. Even though it ruined sniping, real sniping. I'm buying a Zen. <laughs> Why? I don't want. I don't want to touch a controller again. You say that. But wait, wait, wait. You want to play on the PC? Damn. You know what I'm going to do? I'm trying to when, keyboard when, on COD. Okay, I'm, but the thing is, is, is the next... You're going to be on my team. <laughs> <laughs> the next COD is <clears throat> it's going to be the first COD that's like... Uh, on PC. On well, Yeah. yeah on, it's always been on PC, but this heavily supported by the... Yeah, supported. Yeah. It's going to be the first supported <laughs> COD on, on PC. <laughs> and also people are thinking that with the next Halo as well. Because Microsoft has been... What the hell has been going on with Halo Online? It's gone. Just... They yeah, really they shut it down. System 32. Like, System 32. <laughs> like, come on. Why? Can I stream it at least? If no. you're going to throw it away? No, I think you can only upload it. I'm, I'm not sure. God, man. You make your life that much more difficult, though. As a streamer, if you're not doing both... If you're not doing streaming and, and YouTube, like... Or have somebody doing your YouTube for you, like one of your mods or whatever. I, I, like I, I personally think like it's a super super like waste of time because YouTube is such an important platform for anyone's brand. No, I agree, and I want to. I want to get someone who does my thumb. I want someone. The only thing I have to do is take a picture for a thumbnail, and he'll highlight the video, export it to YouTube, put it on public. He'll do the thumbnail. I He'll might, hit public. You know what I was and thinking I'll of. Pay you. you know what I was thinking of doing. Now that I have like the studio, <laughs> and I want to get like more into into gaming content creation, I was thinking that I might hire like f friends to be my you know my my sidekicks, so I can always have somebody to play with, <laughs> so I can always have somebody. You know what I'm saying? Because you guys obviously have your own brands and have your own things to do, and that that doesn't coincide. But I, like like I need to be I need to be supported. You know, and if I have to hire somebody to do that, interns for free, come have fun. Then I think I yeah. think I kind of want to, man. Yeah. <clears throat> in Black Ops, in Black Ops Four, I want to get to a point where Blake and George are always available. You know what I'm saying, 100% right? 100 percent of the time, always available. And that, that's what I. That's how I feel too. Because yeah. even with the old bit of optic, it's like super difficult to convince Hutch to, yo, let's go play, you know, Modern Warfare Remastered and only Modern Warfare Remastered for like this. And then Diesel obviously has Nick hours where he plays from yeah. my, you know, hell? 10 p.m. to like 6 a.m., you know what I'm saying? Is that so, what he does? Yeah. Yeah. It was always it, on. It, it must be like the, a red beard thing. Because <clears throat> I host him I need to I follow go. him so I can just see when he's on. Yeah. Because I literally, I haven't started following people on Twitch until like a few weeks ago. Yeah. I was like, oh, I, I can see like when people are on. I followed, I followed my Twitch on your page, and it was like the third person you had ever followed. Huh. Well, yeah, I see you there. Yeah. So. Uh, all right. I think uh, I think I, I think we did it. Yeah. I think we did it. And we that, talked about a lot of stuff. This this is the, the sort of podcast that I, see. That's the other thing. Like for a podcast, because I'm launching mine, and I have a dope ass idea for for that. Right. <laughs> uh, no, this sounds for real though. I, I like. I want to have somebody that's like, all right, we should do a podcast. Period. Like this, this time and yeah, and that. And and these are the sort of podcasts that like entertain me the most, which in turn I imagine entertains everybody else because it's a literal open conversation, and 
having yeah. video game players, which are the the most ADHD people in the yeah. world, yeah. that only other gamers that have that can follow through. We started with relationships, and then we ended somewhere else. It doesn't matter. But anyway, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed it, please do not leave without leaving a like. Uh, that's sort of my outro. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thought Cut your nails, bro. Give him both. Hook him up. Bite his nails. <laughs> <laughs>